the idea today is I'm going to show the difference between uh, running water in your radiator or coolant. So cooling your car with water should get way hotter than much quicker than coolant. And as you see here, my uh, coolant temperature is right. This guy is around 91, right? You can see the number right there. I can also run something like this here real time display didn't even start the car yet this red line here is my coolant temperature so i'm going to start the car drive to the gas station and come back this should be enough for the fan to kick in um which is around 160. uh that's going to be super quick i'm going to start logging before running the car so we know how much time it took uh from here to the gas station and um what's the temperature and then we're going to do the same thing tomorrow because i don't want to spoil the temperature and anything i mean we're going to rely on the weather a little bit but you know it's being similar every day so let's do it Woo! i successfully made it to the gas station so dude let's put some gas stop these logs here it was missing gas that's why it was popping in and doing all the weird stuff all right so the logs here will show us that exactly here it max out which was 217 degrees for the coolant um, this took 439 seconds to get there which is around eight minutes so from the beginning which was 113 degrees it reached 217 in 8 minutes. So this is using water. So before running today, I'm going to take the hose out of the bottom of the radiator. And I'm going to let it drain. So I have most of the water out. Um, you see on that pan, I don't know how many gallons I have there. Sorry, I moved the camera. Uh, but this is the only hose I took it off. Um, Probably there is a little more in here as you see, but just on this little area. I also want to show you this really quick. This is water from the tap that I just put inside the engine. As you see, it's rusty and this has not been a long time. So this is one disadvantage of using water. Now I got a big funnel. Uh, you can pay, you can buy that too. It costs like 40 bucks. But I got a big funnel. I had this little part in here. I put a little little bolt and nut. And this goes right on the bottom, which is going to shut. And this is only there so I can shut and take out of there without dripping the coolant everywhere. And then I can save it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here as tight as I can. Like that. And I also hook up the hose already. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, get this thing put on the bottom just in case. This is not good for the animals. So you need to be sure you don't drop it. And I'm using uh, Xerox, the red kind. So, and it's 50 50. There you go. Nice. So now I'm going to run the car. It's coolant. That's what spills the other day out of the car, remember? When we had a problem together? Oh yeah, when something blew up? Yeah. Not bubbling or bubbling? Yeah. 
So we are good there. What I'm gonna do is get this part, which on a $40 one is much better than this. And I'm gonna take out of here and put back. So, yeah, pretty much. Of course, because I didn't, that, that didn't seal very well, it was leaking from the side. Uh, He's here, I'm gonna wait a minute, just gonna go down, and then when it goes, I'm gonna shut this. All right, done. So that's done. We are going to, well, we can look at the temperature right now. It's been running for whatever many minutes, and it didn't even reach 160 yet. So, hang on, I don't know if you can see right here. Usually this would be like around 200. Let's get uh, the computer because the computer is what was telling us uh, what the temperature us was. So we want to be consistent, and if we use the computer once, we gotta use it again. Otherwise, we can have uh, misinterpretation. So from the time we started till now, uh, it's still on 180. Uh, so just to be sure that. This is not calibrated the same as the inside one uh, because there are two different sensors. One is that one and the other one is the engine. Uh, you know, um, it's much better. If I go to this guy here or even a live tuning. Well, we need, we need to wait one more day to do our run to be very, very consistent. So we're going to do that tomorrow. But so far, I'm, I'm sure that this is 100% better. All right, guys. So I've been riding the car for a while now, way more than 10 minutes. And um, you see this one here it shows uh, less than 200 as opposed as before. It would be crazy. And now, if you look at the clusters, it's still 190. Uh, that's unheard of. So. This proves what we already knew. Coolant is better than water. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I hope this video helps you. Um, of course, I didn't put water because I wanted to test. I put water because I was starting the engine for the first time and I didn't want to spill water everywhere, uh, coolant everywhere, spend the money and have that crap all over uh, the environment. So you know because it is bad and if you have animals and all that stuff is not good so um don't forget to subscribe a lot more to come and i'll see you around